Welcome to the new episode of How to Electronics. In this episode, we will make LoRa transmitter and LoRa receiver using ESP32 module. We will make two circuit, one will act as a transmitter and other will act as a receiver. We will first simply send the transmitter and receiver data. And in the second circuit, we will add DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor with ESP32 module that will work as a transmitter. And on the receiver section, we will add I2C OLED display. So the temperature data that is to be transmitted from the transmitter end will be received by the receiver end and will be displayed on the OLED screen. For wireless communication, we are using SX1278 transmitter and receiver module. Let's begin with the project first. Here is the official documentation of the video that you are using right now. If you need the source code, the circuit diagram, the connection details and all the libraries and the photo attached to the project, you can simply visit the documentation of this website and simply download all these things. Similarly, if you want to learn more about the SX1278, you can visit this post. This is also the basic introduction. You can also visit this post. And if you want to perform this experiment or make this device using ESP8266, you can visit this post. Similarly, there are two official videos that I have made in my YouTube channel. You can visit two videos and start doing the experiment with Arduino and ESP8266. But now let's begin with the project. So here is a circuit diagram. The circuit diagram is fairly simple. LoRa SX1278 is SPI module. So the connection is something like this. So here is a transmitter circuit where we have attached a LoRa module and there is an ESP32 board. Similarly, there is a replica of the same circuit. This is a receiver. One is a transmitter and other acts as a receiver. Now let's go to the programming section. So this is the library for LoRa. You can get this library. Similarly, we have defined SS, RST and DIO0 pin. We have initialized the counter with the 0. Serial begin has a baud rate of 115200. When the serial is available, the LoRa will begin. This code will set the transmitter module. Okay, 433 E6 is the frequency used in the ACR. Similarly, we are using some word for initializing that should match or that should sync under the loop function we are just sending a counter or a hello command so after the each interval the counter will increase we are giving a delay of 10 seconds you can change the delay to 3 4 5 or whatever you like on the receiver side we have initialized with the library and ss rst and di 0 is still the same the same serial begin function and the same frequency and the same sync word that we are using now here if the packet is available the device will parse the data and the received data will be stored as a string and will be displayed on a serial monitor so now what we do is just upload the code to the board of the modules and then simply open the serial monitor so when you go through the serial monitor the one module will start as a transmitter and other as a receiver. So one is transmitting the data and the other one is receiving the data. This is a simple basic example how you begin SX1278 with ESP32. Now let's go with the complex one first. Now here what we have done in the transmitter end is we have a test DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor. Okay. And on the receiver side we have a test an OLED display where the temperature data from the transmitter will be displayed on the receiver side. So simply make a connection exactly like this. So this was the first one and this is the second one. So simply you can see the DS18B waterproof temperature sensor has three wires. And below that you can see LoRa module SX1278 with antenna. This will measure the temperature directly of 4.7K pull up register is connected between the BACC and output pin of DS18B20. So similarly on the receiver side you can see ESP32 module and LoRa SX1278. And then we can also see there is an OLED display that will display the receive temperature and the packet. Okay. 
now let us see the programming again so the programming is still the same except we have added a ds18 b20 code in the transmitter side so using some code we are just calculating the temperature of the surrounding so the temperature is transmitted using this command on the receiver side we have added the library for sst1306 oled display and all these parameters are defined as well okay and here using this command we are displaying the received packet and the rssi on the OLED screen so simply upload the code and then open the serial monitor so once you open the serial monitor you can see the received packet and the packet that we are sending so the sending packet is transmitter that is the temperature is sent so you can see the packet is successfully received by the receiver and OLED screen is receiving the temperature data wirelessly the OLED screen is never like this it doesn't blink it is because of the camera so you can see when I rub the handle when I rub the temperature sensor with my finger the temperature start rising so you can see a rise in temperature in the OLED screen so this was all about the today's video thank you for watching please share this video